Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm gonna walk through creating a really simple skill for Amazon Alexa. And uh, this is a video that I've done a couple of times before, but as Amazon updates things, I'm trying to keep the videos current. So this is a remake. This is March, uh, toward the end of March of 2018. If you don't see a link to another video that's updated, this should be the, uh, the most current one. So let's, um, let's get into it. You need, uh, I'm gonna go pretty quick. I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail, but I'm gonna walk through the, the process. You're gonna need um, two accounts. You're gonna need an Amazon developer account, and you're also gonna need an Amazon web services account. And they are different. The developer account you can get at developer.amazon.com, and the Amazon web services account you can get at aws.amazon.com. The developer account, there's no cost for, you don't have to provide a, a credit card or anything. Uh, but the AWS account, you will have to provide a credit card, although there's a free tier that will more than cover everything that we're doing here. So there won't be any cost, but you will have to provide a, a credit card. The, uh, the other thing that, um, that, or the other place where you wanna go is to uh, github.com slash Alexa, and there's a lot of code samples, and we're gonna be actually building this skill from an example called the uh, the fact the node facts, and this is a skill that provides space facts. And there's instructions here about how to do this, but I'm going to just walk through the uh, the process so that you can uh, see it happen, and then the combination of those instructions in the video hopefully make it easy for you. So we're going to start at the developer console. So if you go to developer.amazon.com and sign up and or log in, and when you sign up. You want to use the email address for uh, use the same email address that you use for your Amazon uh, Echo. So if you have a, an Amazon Echo, you don't need one to do the development and testing. But if you have one, then you want to use the same email address that you use to configure your Echo. Uh, once you sign in, you will go over to um, your Alexa console and click on Skills here. And this is a brand new updated uh, interface, which is why I'm redoing this video. Um, but I've um, working with an account here that doesn't have anything in it. So you can see just as if you have just started uh, doing this yourself, you would go create a skill and then you would give it a name. And we're gonna name this one Space Facts because that's the example that we're using. Just like that. And it's we're, I'm defaulting this to US English, but if you're uh, someplace else in Australia or Canada or India or the UK, uh, German, Japanese, French, pick the language that suits you and then choose next. And then here um, you want to select for this example, we're gonna select custom. There's different skill types uh, in this video. I'm not gonna get into flash briefing or smart home or video skills. If you go to the YouTube channel, I've got some videos on, uh, well, the flash lead from one. I don't have smart home and uh, the video yet, but I'll do those at one point. So select custom and then choose create skill. Okay, and in here, um, this is where we're gonna set up the interaction model and we're gonna link the interaction model to the skill service, the backend. So when you're building a skill, there's kind of two parts to it. There's the voice user interface, which is what you're gonna set up so that Alexa recognizes the requests from users. And then you've got the skill service, which is the backend that provides the functionality to fulfill whatever those uh, requests, whatever functionality your skill is gonna provide. So normally you would go through here and you would add intents, which are sort of um, analogous with you know functionality or functions, and then um, slots, which are kind of like variables that you would pass in. But you would set all that up here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to jump over here to if you go to the sample Alexa projects, we're already here. But that's this is going to open up um, the it's gonna open up the GitHub um, page for the Alexa samples, and we're gonna work with this one here again, we're the sample node JS facts, and this is the space facts. And what I'm looking for here is, if you go into models and then this enus.json, this is the interaction model, and we're just gonna cheat rather than typing it all in, and we're just gonna copy this like that. I copied it to my clipboard, 
and then go back over here and um, we're going to, well, first I'm gonna add the invocation name. So the invocation name is the name that Alexa is gonna recognize to start your skill up. So we're gonna call this space facts also. So this is where um, you're basically saying, uh, like the example here, so Alexa opens space facts. And during development, you can pretty much use anything that you want. But if you plan on getting the skill published, you need to be pretty clear on the requirements for the uh, invocation name. And you can learn more by following these links down here. But for this example, we're gonna use space facts. And then we're gonna save that. And now we're gonna go over here to the JSON editor. So rather than entering the, uh, the information up here, which we could do, we're just gonna go right into the JSON editor and we're going to paste in here that um, interaction model that we copied from the GitHub repository. So there we go. And vocation name space facts. And um, we'll save that. And then we're gonna click uh, build here to build the model. And this takes a few minutes. So while this is happening, we're gonna go set up the skill service on the back end. But real quickly, just to show you what else is going on in here. We don't need to worry about any of this for this example, but on the interfaces here, if you were building a skill that used the audio player, you can toggle that on here. If you're building a skill that targets um, a, uh, one of the Echo devices with a screen like the Amazon Echo Show, you would toggle on the display interface. And if you're building a video uh, app, you would toggle this on over here. Um, but what we do need, and we don't need any of those for this, but what we do need is we need to set up an endpoint. And the endpoint is how you're tying the voice user interface to the functionality on the back end, which can be either um, a AWS Lambda function, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, and that's what we're gonna do, or any HTTPS endpoint that can receive and respond with um, JSON that Alexa will understand. And, and so you don't have to host the back end on AWS, um, but it's certainly the easiest way to do it. And that's what we're going to do here. So you want to select the AWS Lambda ARN and ARN is uh, Amazon resource name is what that acronym stands for. And then over here where it says your skill ID um, copy to clipboard, we're going to go ahead and do that because we're going to need that. So I've copied that to my clipboard. And now I'm going to go over to um, Amazon Web Services, aws.amazon.com, and sign in or uh, register if you have not already done so. Uh, I have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and, and log in. And I've cleared this out, so this is just like starting with a brand new account. What you're going to do is um, go to the Lambda section. And Lambda is a service that lets you uh, run code without having to worry about configuring and setting up servers. So it's really, really simple to use and um, great as a, a backend for Alexa skills. So once you get to this screen, you're gonna just select create a function. And then we're going to, you can create a function from scratch uh, or you can choose um, serverless application repository for pre-built ones that uh, third parties are providing or blueprints, which are sort of uh, ready to go starting points like boilerplates, uh, templates. Um, and so we're gonna do that. We're gonna use one of the blueprints and we're actually gonna use the one that's in the GitHub repo that's that fax skill. So you can just uh, type Alexa here to find it and it's this one here it's the alexa skills kit sdk fax skill and this is we're going to use node.js uh, javascript essentially okay so um, now up here we're going to call this fact skill like that for the name and here for the role the role is going to give the function permission to do whatever it needs to do to to execute and run if it's the first time that you're in Lambda, you are not gonna have a role. So um, we're gonna choose create a custom role down here. And it's really simple. It's gonna pop up a new window and it's gonna default uh, with the permissions necessary and the role name Lambda Basic Execution uh, with everything that you need. You don't have to do anything here except just click this blue allow bu button and it'll bring you back into the, uh, the Lambda 
console. And at this point, we're ready to go. This is the this is the code down here that is provided as part of that boilerplate fax skill um, template space fax, like I mentioned earlier. And here are the space fax. And you could modify these um, and, and modify the skill name if you wanted fax for any other purpose. But for this example, we're just going to keep it as is. And then you would just go down here and choose create function. Okay, so now we we have our Lambda function, the back end for our skill, but what we need to do is we need to um, link it to the Alexa skills kit, the developer that we set up through the Alexa skills kit to the uh, voice user interface and the developer console. And the way that you're gonna do that is with a trigger. So if you go over here and where it says add triggers, we're gonna choose the Alexa skills kit trigger. And this option here, configuration required, you wanna click on that. And basically if you come down to where it says configure triggers, it's um, going to ask you for a skill ID for verification. And this is to make sure that uh, only your skill is calling this Lambda function. And if you remember when we were over in the developer console and we copied the skill ID to the clipboard, that's what we're gonna use over here. So if you go into skill ID and just paste that in, that's what it's looking for. And then you can just choose add down here. And then we're, uh, we're all good to go. Um, if you wanted to modify the skill, if you click on the, the, the skill name up here, um, you could go in here and you could modify this again. You could uh, edit the, the the space facts or change it to uh, to, to whatever you want. Um, but uh, we're just going to stay with the with the, uh, the the blueprint for right now as it, as is. And then you would just choose save. And now the last thing that we need to do is now we need to we've told um, the function here what the uh, skill ID is to, for security purposes, but we haven't told the, the skill, the voice user interface, how to get to the Lambda function. And we need this ARN right here. So the Amazon resource name. So if you copy that, this is what we're gonna use over here uh, to set up our service endpoint. So the Amazon Lambda ARN, and we're just going to paste that in here to default region, just like that. And that is it. So once we do that, we just choose save endpoints. And everything looks good to this point. We should be ready to go. At this point, the skill should be all wired up. All we need to do is test that. And if you go to test, um, you can just toggle this testing on to start testing. And to start testing, you, th this is all you need to do is just toggle it on. And if you use the email address that you used with your Amazon Echo, you can also start testing with your Echo right now too. So you can either test in here or test with your Echo. Um, but we'll say um, Alexa, open space facts. Here's your fact. The Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in about 5 billion years. So there it is. This was the, um, the request that was sent by the Alexa skills service, uh, skills kit to the Lambda function. And then the Lambda function uh, responded with this response, which is what we just heard. And that is it. At this point, the skill is completely set up and you can, like I mentioned, you can go in and, and modify this and start playing with it. But at this point, you've got a fully functioning skill. Um, if you wanted to, to modify it and launch it, you could go here and complete these steps to submit it for certification. And if it uh, gets certified, it would be live in the skill store. So. That is it, really quick creating an Amazon Alexa skill. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I've got some more videos that go into more depth at youtube.com uh, slash dabble lab. But uh, if you have any questions or thoughts, please uh, leave those in the comments and I'll reply just as soon as I can. And if you have not subscribed to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel, please do so. Thanks so much.